Part of host Marcelo Mello's duties this week in Cincinnati involved seeking out the top interviewees. I'm about to interview one of the big stars on the tour, Sasha Zverev, really good friend of mine. So let's see how it goes. Today, your media starts with me, okay? Are you ready? Your media starts, okay. Here's my first question for this fella. Tell them how we become friends. If we are friends, I don't know yet. How we became friends? Yeah. Well, I was feeling sorry for you most of the time because you were by yourself in the, you know, in the edge of the locker room. So, you know, I was the nice guy I am. I just wanted to talk to you for a little bit and you actually seemed quite all right. So that's how we became friends. He was, he, he was just lonely most of the time and I felt sorry for him because, you know, Everybody knows that this is not true. <laughs> Hello guys, now he don't know, but I'm going to make a question for him in his media conference. Let's see how it's gonna be. <laughs> I wanna have a question. You were the only one who won a Masters 1000 this year out of Nadal and Feder. Can you tell us how you did it? I've won two, so get your questions right. You have to know your information to ask me questions, please. <laughs> this is too much. Thanks. If I ask him a question now, he's gonna break like. <laughs> if you could choose your favorite mixed doubles partner, me or Sasha? You. Both of you. Mm. No, Sasha. <laughs> I was in Washington in your box most of your matches, and especially in the final. How could you do it without me at the final now in Montreal? Actually much easier and much more comfortable. Yeah, knowing that I don't have to see you afterwards was a help. But uh, no, but you're always welcome in my box when, whenever you want. It always helps. Uh, you're welcome, by the way, for all the practice sessions that I had with you for, you know, I still didn't get my share of your prize money in Wimbledon and stuff like this. I'm still waiting for that. So everybody knows we compete a lot outside the court. In everything. In everything. In, in Literally everything. everything. Yeah. So one day you hope to beat me in anything, because we know, everybody knows golf. So name me, name me one thing, name me one thing you beat me at. No, everybody anything. knows. No, 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 name me one thing. Let's move subject because this one I don't no, think no, I can wait. win. <laughs> I have seen your mom cooking many times. She's yes. really good on that. Okay. Why you don't know how to do an egg? An she egg? Because I'm not a chicken and I don't know how to produce <laughs> eggs. Uh, you are a really good run to qualify for London. This is going to mean a lot for you. Yes, it will. Uh, playing in, in front of all of all of the fans, uh, you know, it, it really means a lot because because it means that you've played playing on this kind of level, top ten level for the whole year, and I think that's that's a great achievement for any player. Playing in front of that that crowd inside of that stadium will be absolutely amazing, a dream come true, and hopefully hopefully I'll make it, and then I'll see you all in London. Fortunately, I have to do something is to get his signed autograph for me. He's gonna be telling me this forever, but I will do it. I should be giving my authority to him, and he's giving it to me. Uh, he's already got a signature. Around. Why do I sign for him again? He's upside the road. Wait, there you go, buddy. Just to finish, the last set we played singles was 6-2 for me, okay? Bye. <laughs> Next week on ATP World Tour Uncovered, we report from the US Open Series in Winston-Salem. And we'll take a big bite out of the Big Apple as we preview what to expect at this year's US Open. Don't forget to log on to atpworldtour.com and chat with us on the ATP's official social network, MyATP, now on Vixlet, and on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. See you next week.